is up loud and proud cut. Hopefully you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. So this video is not gonna be too lengthy, but it's one that I feel I needed to make to update you guys on a couple of things. And also you guys can get a sneak peek at, oh, 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 yep, yep, yep. 40 inch tires for the OBS truck. 40 by 1550 R22s, these are Anthem Instigators. These are the two-tone ones. Uh, they have a few different models of these wheels. They are very, very good looking. I wanted to go with the two-tone with the two-tone truck. I don't know why, maybe that's just me. Um, and then also, because you will see why that two-tone will fit in a little bit better here very soon. We have some new accessories coming in for the truck. And then of course, these tires are going to be going. I don't know what we're gonna do with them, if I wanna sell them with whatever treads left and just the wheels. Basically, I'm only selling them for the wheels, whatever values in the wheels. In fact, I'm probably gonna sell them for a lot less than the wheels are actually worth just to, you know, give them to some, basically give them to somebody and just be like, here you go. The video for these is probably gonna be up in a couple days. As you see, I got the jack out. So I'm gonna do that. Um, but I'm also gonna be posting this video that you're watching right now. So I'm gonna post this one first, but look at how freaking huge these things are bigger than these 37s, 37, 1350s versus 40, 1550s. And they're still 14 wides, but the wheels are a little bit smaller um, than these ones. Obviously those are 24 by 14, so we're gonna go back down to a 22 by 14. So I still have that stance, but it doesn't have that much wheel, that, you know, that size of a wheel. So it'll work out, it'll look really, really good. Let me also update you guys, those of you who saw the old whitey, old faithful, old reliable, the 7.3, that truck. Very, very sad day, because that's, that's a truck that we've had since 2004, so almost when it was new, and my dad has had that truck forever now. I mean, a long time, and he's just been super attached to it, and that's why he never sold it, although he said, and we said so many times, we're gonna sell it, we're gonna sell it, we're gonna sell it, because we just don't need it. You know, it's just not being put to work enough. It's just sitting and sitting and sitting, and then he got it, you know, three grand worth of work done, and it's still just sitting and sitting, and so it's one of those deals where it's like, we needed to sell it, but we just never did, and now we don't have the option. <laughs> um, uh, it got it got totaled out. No, me or my dad were not driving. It was one of those things where we got the first really icy warning of basically the winter. Unfortunately, the truck was spun around and thrown into a ditch. In the video, it was kind of hard to see everything that was really wrong with that truck and really to pin down all the things that are wrong with it, everything that's bad. So we got another video around the truck. It still doesn't show everything that happened, like where the bumper went up in and it like busted the radiator and a bunch of other hoses and all kinds of stuff up into the engine bay. Some stuff got jammed up in there and threw some stuff out of place. There's a lot more to fix than I know how to do and then my dad knows how to do um, and we have no problem admitting that we are not like full-on body guys repair shop like we like we love trucks we'll work on trucks with stuff that we know how to do um, which I have no problem saying like which is like wheels tires and basic horsepower parts like we're not mechanics okay we're not shop mechanics that's not what we do we just enjoy doing the things that we do know how to do and that we're comfortable doing we just love trucks, that's all. And I think a lot of you guys can relate. The company's probably gonna total it out. There's more stuff done to that truck that's wrong than you guys can really tell. The frame might be a little bit banged up and uh, bent a little bit. The bed is completely trashed. The front fenders are both, I think they're both bent up a little bit out of place. The hood's completely thrown out of place. The headlights, I think, are um, kinda got smashed up in a little bit, at least on the passenger side. The bumper is completely shot. I'm pretty sure the radio radiator um, was spraying everywhere because my dad said there was some kind of fluid busted and spraying all over the place underneath. And some other stuff, just it just got banged up more than you can see. Some of the hubs were pretty well distressed and banged up from you know, getting up in the ditch at the angle that it did with all that force and weight throwing up against those hubs. The wheels were kind of busted off a little bit and the tires were kind of off of the wheel. Um, I mean, it was just kind of like the whole front end could have some a bunch more parts that we are gonna have to deal with. I mean, it's just a lot more than you guys think. I think a lot of people are like, oh, it's got a dented front and rear bumper and a bedside. No biggie, you know, no big deal. But there was a lot more to it than that. That's not saying that we are not going to buy the truck back. However, if we buy the truck back, which is a huge if, um, and it depends what they give us for the truck and what they want for the truck in return, but we're probably just going to sell the truck for parts. We're probably not going to keep it, you know, dump a ton of money into rebuilding it with the check that we get from it. It's probably gonna be our opportunity to finally say goodbye to that truck. As sad as it is, it's just not a project that we can really take on at the time. I've, I know I've got too much going on for that kind of a project, nor do I really want to pitch out, you know, an arm and a leg and funds to have it rebuilt. It's sad to see it go like in that condition, but he would rather sell it to somebody 
um, for, for a good deal, then try to take the check that he gets and dump that times three into the truck to make it perfect. It's just not it's just not something we want to do. Now it might be somebody else's dream project to work on because the engine's probably still fine and everything else, but it's just not our project that we want to take on right now because the whole point of selling that truck was to save some money because we don't need it and we're just paying insurance and fuel. When I say we, he's paying insurance and fuel on that truck um, and maintenance and stuff just to minimally hardly drive it every year. And here's one more video around that truck. Now after that video, of course you guys see the trucks, it's really banged up and a lot of guys, you're, there's like I said, there's still stuff you don't see like with the frame and, and some other things that kind of just got banged up that you can't see up underneath and stuff, but it's just more than we want to take on. All that being said, that is not all we're here to talk about today. You know, the wheels, tires, old whitey, and what's happening with that truck and this. On to the Longhorn and what we're going to be doing with this beautiful, beautiful beast. Um, those of you guys who don't know, this is my 2018 uh, Mega Cab 6.7 Cummins, the Longhorn interior. Freaking beautiful truck. Absolutely love it. This was my dream truck at the time. And um, got a bag of trash there to try to keep it as clean as possible so we throw everything in a bag. But it is a beautiful truck. I love this truck. I've got 10,000 miles on it now. And I just want to change it up. I want to make it cooler. I want to make it meaner, more aggressive. And it looks cool right now. But it looks like a stock truck where a guy kind of likes to do a, a little, little bit of aftermarket. But not really much. I want this thing to just be a monster. Six and a half inch lift. 375 45 R22 Nittos, which are basically a 35 by 1550, almost more like a 15 wide, not a 1550. They're just beefy and they're big. And the 22 by 14 Anthem wheels are gonna be a gloss black to kind of match the paint. So that's the wheel and tire suspension setup. It's gonna be a zone off-road lift kit, which I talked to a guy that's worked in a lift shop for years and he said zone kits are actually really nice and they're very durable for the money. And he's like, I would just really recommend them if you're looking to not spend a fortune but still have a really solid kit. Probably gonna do some recon headlights, hopefully, possibly this month still, along with all this other work. This, all this work should be happening this month. This isn't like a video I'm gonna post and be like, oh yeah, it's not happening. Like the lift kit, the wheels and tires, all that stuff, that's already all on order. Um, the tail lights, I'm thinking about going with a similar look, almost like the recon headlights, like that style, like of a smoky chrome tail light. And then that'll kind of match, keep the third brake light slash cargo lamp there um, to where you don't have to change much. I'm probably going to keep the chrome bumper and the chrome grill. And that's why I'm going with a smoky chrome look on the headlights because it can go with this, the chrome, the black, kind of make the smoky chrome mix, which will kind of tie it together, then also go with the black wheels. I think it'll just look really, really good and it'll give me the look that I'm wanting for this truck, which isn't like every single piece and part and nut and bolt on the truck custom aftermarket, but just enough to give it that good, aggressive, mean truck that everybody just loves. Like a classic built, just mean looking fourth gen. In terms of parts under the hood, I'm not gonna do anything crazy. It's already got a performance upgrade on it. I'm just gonna point to it and you guys can tell me what you think. Boom, right there. I mean, it's on the fly. It's really responsive, and this truck, even with the 200 horsepower increase um, tune on that, the truck performs really well, and the transmission holds up really well on this truck. This is the Eisen transmission, and so I don't want to do much more than just the upgraded tuner, but I do want to enhance the power that is already there. So that being said, we're probably going to do like a Banks intake. No, I'm not being sponsored by Banks. I just want to buy their product, and that be it, and just use it because I like it. Um, and then also go with a SMB intake on this truck as well, just to kind of increase that airflow. And no, SMB is not sponsoring me either. I'm just going out and buying these parts outright. And the only parts that are going to be sponsored, I believe, are the wheels on the truck. And that's not 100% sponsorship, but Anthem's working with me on that. And I love to work with Anthem any chance I get. And Anthem is more than happy to work with me. And so I really, really, really appreciate that. 
and uh, they really appreciate what I do for them in return as well. So it's, it's one of those things that I'm just very, very thankful for. A, a very good, faithful, and uh, just a good, solid company that's always there with communication, with customer service. Like, they're just very spot on with everything. Yes, the wheels, tires, lift kit, all that stuff is already on order. Just not the headlights and the intake stuff yet, but that should be on order by next week. And we're going to get all this stuff done probably this month. Man, am I in love with these things. They're just huge. I mean, they're just massive. They look really good. These are Anthem wheels, of course. Anthem is running some deals right now, so definitely go check out their website. They have some killer, killer stuff on there. And they also offer financing options, and right now they're running like a 0% um, for financing, so definitely go check that out. But yeah, guys, definitely thank you so much for all the love and support. Don't forget to enter the OBS giveaway. We're giving away this truck. Yes, these giveaways are real. Yes, they're legit. No, you cannot fake them. Okay, you can't fake giveaways on stuff like this. Yes, it's legit. They're legal, they're bonded, they're registered. One to 3% of our subscriber audience on YouTube. That's about how many, you know, people actually enter it. Actually, not even people, just more like entries probably, give or take. These are very small giveaways and it's a really huge opportunity to give back to a fan that's been uh, watching our videos, subscribing to the channel, just showing their support and buying the merch and stuff. It's a good opportunity to give back and to show appreciation and, um, just give thanks. Leave your comments down below, subscribe if you're new, enter that giveaway, every $15 is another entry to win. By the way, if you don't like this truck, you want a Cummins, you want a Duramax, you can sell this truck. Go buy your Cummins, go buy your Duramax. Doesn't hurt my feelings. And also, I will pay to have this truck transported anywhere in the USA 50 states. So keep that in mind. You don't have to worry about paying to come get the truck or flying out or getting it hauled. I cover those costs. Thank you guys so much. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.